Think you know Lionel Messi, the GOAT? His fame, his fortune, that cheeky smile? Guess again. What about the secrets he's been hiding? Like the mysterious criminal connections in South America? His self-doubt and inner demons? Or the ego-driven business dealings that would shock even Ronaldo? Here are 10 shocking facts about Lionel Messi that will leave you stunned. First up, you might think Messi's height is just average, but it's actually a result of a miraculous intervention by Barcelona. As a child, Messi suffered from a growth hormone deficiency, which stunted his growth and also impacted his mental development. The treatments to correct this were incredibly expensive, costing over $1,600 a month, which his mother and father just simply couldn't afford. But when Barcelona signed him, when all other clubs were hesitant, they agreed to take on the cost of the treatments, turning Messi into the unstoppable low center of gravity dribbler we know and love today, hence his undeniable loyalty to the Catalan Giants. Just don't let him go on any of the scariest roller coasters. But how did Messi first catch the attention of Barcelona scouts? From an early age, everyone was in awe when they saw the young Lionel Messi showing off his incredible skills on the field. Even the tough-to-impress Barcelona managers were amazed. But here's the catch. Messi wasn't just juggling a regular old soccer ball, oh no. He was juggling an orange 113 times to be exact, and then a tennis ball 112 times. Most of us would struggle to do that with a ball, let alone an orange. Barcelona's technical secretary, Carlos Rochac, knew he had to sign this prodigy and fast. But Barcelona's board of directors were skeptical. Signing a player at such a young age was a risky move, especially with the growth hormone deficiency. But Carlos saw the potential, and he wasn't going to let this opportunity slip away. In a moment of brilliance, he grabbed the first thing he could find, a napkin, and wrote out a contract. And as they say, the rest is history. That napkin mopped up 672 goals for the club, cementing his status as a true football legend. But it was never that easy. In fact, the child star was guarding yet another dark secret that threatened to shatter his dreams before they could even take flight. Despite being the best player in the world, Messi had a tough time interacting with his teammates off the pitch. As a young player, he struggled with social interaction and was even thought to be autistic by some of his coaches and peers. He preferred to communicate via text rather than directly and would often come to the training pitch with a spoon in his mouth, showing his distress. He carried his inability to the FC Barcelona team, where he was surrounded by superstars. As a result, he became the target of Gerard Piquet, who said, he is going to play with us? Looks like my kid brother. Messi was also a nightmare for journalists to interview, and he hates talking on the phone, even with Maradona, who said, it's harder to get Messi on the phone than God. But despite these challenges, he continued to dominate the football pitch and prove that greatness knows no bounds. Unless we're talking about his shameful international debut, of course. Messi had already been showing La Liga what he was capable of with Barca on a weekly basis. And when he got the call up versus Hungary, the whole nation was expecting more of the same. What they didn't expect was Messi getting sent off just 43 seconds after being introduced as a substitute. That's exactly what happened when the referee saw a rogue elbow flying to the face of Vilmos Vanzak, courtesy of an 18-year-old Messi. A red card was shown, and that was the end of his debut. However, we think he's more than made up for it now, single-handedly dragging his country to Copa Americana and World Cup glory is a great way to say sorry. Nowadays, people have run out of words to describe Messi when he plays football, so they decided to invent a new one and put it in the dictionary instead. In February of 2013, Santiana, a dictionary in Spanish, saw a new adjective added to its books, in mesionate. It might not flow off the tongue that easily, 
but it perfectly describes the talents of the Argentinian forward, meaning the perfect way to play football with an unlimited capacity for self-improvement. Damn, boy, don't go telling Ronaldo. Here's another impressionante moment, too. With over 795 career goals and counting, Messi has left many goalkeepers in awe of his scoring prowess. To date, he scored against over 300 different goalkeepers, with Valencia's Diego Alves being the one who has conceded the most goals to Messi with 19. To honor Messi's goal-scoring exploits, Budweiser came up with a genius campaign to further embarrass the men between the sticks. Budweiser, the king of beers, designed and sent out customized bottles of beer to over 160 goalkeepers who had fallen victim to Messi's magic. We're talking 644 bottles of beer to goalkeepers from all over the world, but none more so than Messi's main man, Diego Alves. What's up? Speaking of drunken confessions, we've all got a few stories. Well, it turns out even the great Lionel Messi has a secret habit when he's had too many cervezas and vinos. He speaks Catalan. Back in the day when Messi was just starting out at Barca, some senior players would exclude the young prodigy by speaking Catalan among themselves. But as he rose to the top of the football world, Messi didn't have much reason to go all Catalan and was happy to let his unreal skills do the talking. That is, until he had a few too many drinks. Then out came the Catalan tongue. At least it's better than a traffic cone on the head, right? Next up, whips. When you're one of the best footballers in the world, you gotta have some pretty sweet wheels to match. And Messi is no exception. He's got one of the most impressive car collections out there, with each ride costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. From a Cadillac Escalade, to a Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupe, to a Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale, Messi's got it all. But his most prized possession is a $4 million Pagani Zonda, and the story of how he acquired this next beauty is even better. At a car auction, Messi was going head-to-head -head with none other than his arch-rival, Ronaldo, for the same car. A 1957 Ferrari 335 Sport Spider Scaglietti, previously driven by Sterling Moss at the 1958 Cuban Grand Prix. And the winner? Messi dropped a whopping $35 million on this beauty to send CR7 home cursing and pouting, as usual. Now, you might wonder how Messi could even handle such expensive cars, given that he has a fear of driving in normal cars. Oh yes, Messi has a serious phobia called a maxophobia, which was born out of a tragic past where his father and brother both suffered serious car crashes. To overcome his fear, Messi was obsessed with researching safer rides and found that many luxury and sports cars have far superior safety design and features over conventional brands. And well, he's been cruising in style ever since. But like the notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls said, mo money, mo problems. Messi was on the verge of being arrested for a crime he was unaware of. As Messi rose to the top of the football world, he raked in ridiculous amounts of cash from endorsements, advertisements, and jerseys like they were going out of fashion. But with great wealth comes great attention. Messi's father, Jorge, was in charge of handling the finances. In an effort to save as much money as possible, Jorge took things to the edge of legality. Unbeknownst to Messi, his finances were in shambles until 2016, when he and his father were summoned to court. The Spanish government accused the two of defrauding them of 4.2 million euros. Ouch! Messi received a 21-month prison sentence, but with all the money he had saved, he was able to retain a top-notch lawyer. This legal powerhouse was able to negotiate a reduced sentence and a fine of just $255,000, and the rightful repayment of $5.3 million in taxes. Speaking of brushes with the law, from Rosario to the top of the world, while Lionel Messi may be a household name across the globe, in his hometown of Rosario, Argentina, he has some stiff competition. 
That's right, Messi isn't the most famous person from Rosario. He's playing second fiddle to none other than the revolutionary icon Che Guevara. You may have heard of him, the South American guerrilla leader who inspired a generation and sparked controversy around the world. He's a hero to the people of Rosario, with portraits and sculptures of him found throughout the city. But don't think that Messi is feeling the pressure, oh no. In fact, he has a little bit of Che Guevara in him. Apart from sharing the same birth month together, one of Messi's heroes, the legendary Diego Maradona, had a Guevara tattoo on his right shoulder. Talking of world domination and legacy, we arrive at our final egotistical but super cool fact. Number 1. Enter the Lionel Messi Experience While Ronaldo has a larger-than-life ego and Neymar's confidence may be larger than his hair, Lionel Messi remains humble despite his clear brilliance on the field. So when it comes to creating a theme park in their own honor, who would you put your money on? Ronaldo World? Nah, it's all about the MEP, baby. The Messi Experience Park. Costing more than $200 million and located in Nanjing, China, this 42,000 square foot futuristic indoor theme park is packed with 10 attractions that boast cutting edge technology such as interactive video mappings, animatronics, flying theaters, 360 degree domes, dark rides, and physical VR football experiences. Visitors can literally step into their own customizable artificial footballing world with Lionel Messi as their tour guide. If this is anything like Messi's super successful NFT collection or his crazy Messiverse investment, then this is going to be truly next level. So, now you know the real Lionel Messi. But what of his arch nemesis, Ronaldo? Check out 10 facts that will leave you shocked and excited about the legendary CR7 next.